we had some major, major problems. I don't, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. It's very difficult because we did everything we could. So the house is being really weird right now. I'm panicking now. What if the dryer's ruined? We're pregnant. Who's <laughs> gonna dry <laughs> you? That's so cool. I want to do more class out here. <laughs> That's awesome, huh? That's so close. Grandma Bingham got here and said, there's a hot air balloon landing right in your back, back behind your house. And Canyon was like, is it gonna crash into our house? <laughs> Cause last time a hot air balloon landed at our house, it crashed into the house behind us, huh? <laughs> That's cool though. Whoa, that's so close. Okay, so what is it you gotta work on, buddy? Like What's the main thing that you have lots of work to do on? Reading? Yes. Yeah, reading. reading. But what do you think I is the first thing that you need to work on? Attitude. Your attitude towards learning has got to change sometime because you're going to keep going through this to where you're going to continue to, yeah, you're going to continue to be asked to do more, to do more, to do more throughout your whole entire life. Your school career gets harder and harder every year. Yeah. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Have a good attitude? Hey, attitude is everything, dude. Negative attitude makes us feel negative. Positive attitude makes us feel... Thumbs up. It makes us feel thumbs up. Positive. <laughs> so, just having parent-teacher conference with Kang's teacher. Uh, obviously, his she she likes his personality, and you know he likes certain things. When he likes certain things, he has a good attitude about things. He really does a phenomenal job. Kang did my hair but, during parent-teacher conference. But when he doesn't have a good attitude, guess what happens? Yeah. So we're working on that constantly working on that mm -hmm. so the balance here is passion versus the things that you need to learn right and we want to continue to allow Kenny to have the passion and do the things that he wants to do but there has to be a balance he can't just do whatever he's passionate about and not do the learning portion because he has to learn how to read the right the proper way now he's doing so much better he's just not there to where it can just be snappy snappy read read right much better though thanks to carol and thanks to Sarah and thanks to his teacher. So I'm back up here at the construction zone today talking about countertops and we have some major, major problems. The countertops that we want are probably not going to work and we've had them selected, picked out for over a year. <sighs> big, big problems, big, big issues. So I don't, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I need to go talk with Sarah and figure out what we're going to do now because we don't have a lot of time. I need to get it done. Uh, this, I knew this was going to be a pain. I knew this was going to be bad. So that's what we're doing is nothing. Can't do anything right now. Nothing. Except for all the other contractors doing their jobs. So we're, we're really appreciative of them. As you can see, Tim is working on the fire pit and it looks beautiful. He's done such an, an incredible job on it. Uh, we just love people who are skilled, have the the mindset to do something phenomenal because they want to do something phenomenal and he just does such a good job with it. Here we are. Now we have been set in stone on this countertop for the last year mm -hmm. or longer. And here we are going to look at other countertops and we might have this to change. This is the thing that makes me the most mad about this whole I know. Whole remodel. I know. So, so mad I just got by my tongue. We're gonna go look at it and see. We're in a pinch here. We're in, a, we're in a bind, and it's not something we created. We did everything we could to make sure that everything's taken care of the proper way, and now we're in a pickle. And so, anyway, Sarah's trying to be patient. I'm trying to be patient. It's very difficult because we did everything we could. We did everything right. Anyway. Yeah. So let's go see. What are you thinking? Do you see anything? I see some beautiful ones, but I don't know if it's better than what we've found. I found a couple that I really like inside, but let's see what you let's see what your picks are and see if they're the same as mine. I don't have any. Is the problem? 
You really do like this one. I do like this one. Did you take a picture and send it to? I haven't sent anything to Becky yet. Like Will you take a picture of this? Blue calcite, that is beautiful. Okay, so the basement needs to be this. That is cool. Okay, that's what you want in the basement. This is really cool feeling too. I like this one. It's kind of got browns in it. Got the leather feel. Okay. And this one. You know, this is like yellow, but it's and it's gloss too. Yeah. It's got some blue in there. I like it. This one you I like. I forgot that I had one more, but I like this Monte Cristo one. But it's soft. I mean, it's, it's just gloss. gloss. Hey, Lane. It's yes, so I think there's something in the oven. <laughs> It's just burning. Kate's been cooking something in the oven. Oh! <laughs> now that's cute. <laughs> Look at that. But well, when did you get that taken, bud? <laughs> We're pregnant. She's good, Greg. Okay, so on Alexa, I said that my costume finally get, got here, and I think this is it. Finally, three weeks late almost. Let's see if it's actually, I have like a crowd watching me. Yes, it's my costume, finally. Finally! I'm gonna go put it on right now. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. You got here? Yeah, I got here today. Finally. Like I walked downstairs. And like you guys are just talking, Let's I look over and I'm like, this is the, the it with the cape on, and then you can take off the cape. And there's like shoulder pads that you can take off of it. And it's just like the regular Whoa. wonder part. So nice. Mm -hmm. wow. My hair's like messing it though. <laughs> so the house is being really weird right now. I started laundry and I bed. The washer never even finished. Really? Look, it was just on wash. It wasn't even. Huh. That's why it was so wet. Okay, it's weird. So I started the laundry and it was going for a while and then it was done or I thought it was done. And so I pulled it out and started switching it over and it was like soaking wet. Like I had to wring out all the clothes before I switched it over, it was soaking wet. I was like, okay, that's weird. Whatever, I threw it in the dryer. And now, the dryer won't even start. It won't even start! It was starting a second ago, but now it won't. Um, where are the breakers? Let's see. Everything's fine. Anyway, I was getting, I was finishing my hair and Ty comes in from work and he's like, um, can I use your sink really fast? And I was like, sure, I don't know why not. And he comes in, this is not the sink he came to, but. I went to the bathroom and Jake's bathroom. Uh-huh. Toilet works just fine, and I went to wash my hands and nothing came out. We think there was like an accident with the neighbors, but I don't know why the dryer wouldn't be working. Cause the lights are working. Look, the lights are working. So, I don't know. I'm supposed to go to my mom's nails. And I don't know. And now I need to call my mom, but I just took my phone. I'm gonna call her and be like, hey, we're trying to figure stuff out. We don't know when we're gonna leave because if there's not an issue with the neighbor's house, there's an issue with this house. Everything else is working fine though. It's just the washer and dryer. And now I really need to go to the bathroom. I just realized how badly I need to go. <laughs> we have dinner with Ty's family today and because it's his dad's birthday and so we're gonna go hang out with them. My mom wants her nails done before she goes to Disneyland. We were gonna go to the store, grab a, something for his dad. Um, and then we were gonna go to my mom's house and possibly do invitations if they were done, but they weren't, aren't. And we're supposed to have invitations out tomorrow, out by tomorrow. We don't have them. <laughs> and my parents are leaving to Disneyland tomorrow. Hold on, I'm gonna double check something. All right, I'm not gonna double check that. I'm gonna double check the dryer though. Okay, I just have to wait and see if it stops though, that's the thing. Because before it went for a minute and then just stopped. So, like that. Okay. I'm panicking now, what if the dryer's ruined? Look at this. 
That's the Suburban. And uh, we've had a lot of issues with it recently with the battery not uh, being charged up enough to start it. We've had to jump start several times. So Cody came over, he took my battery out of the Suburban and he took it over to Costco and they're getting a brand new one for us. I was way too busy to do it myself. Guys, I can't tell you how crazy busy we are. You see a lot of it, but you see very, very little bit of, of how actual crazy busy we are. Um, but there it is. The new, the Suburban's getting a new battery. I'm so stoked because uh, Sarah's not been stranded, but pretty close to being stranded. All right, let's try it. Oh yeah. All right, it's finished. Beautiful. Turned out so good. Wow. I have a huge goal <sighs> to not eat any junk food today. And I've done so good today, so good. I did not eat any sugar or any candy. And look what I come into the kitchen too. This is, these are chewy. I think that's a sign right there. I think closing up on its own, I'll take that as a sign. These are chewy chips ahoy, day. I love them so much. I'm not gonna give in guys, I can do this, right? We can do hard things together. Thank you, thank you for your inspiration and your help. And I'm thankful that the, uh, the wrapper closed on me. We can do hard things. Look at me, I'm literally talking and I'm walking backwards and and maybe I'm gonna go back and just get one, just one cookie, maybe two. Just one. No, none, I'm not doing it. You thought I was going to, didn't you? We are definitely not professional decorators. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay though. We just want a little bit of Halloween, I guess. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to be a ball humbug. We still have bats, but the boys were most excited about this, so we'll let the little kids put out the bats tomorrow. And then, Halloween decorations. <laughs> you know, it seems like every time that we have plans for something specific, like today, well, we're going out of town tomorrow afternoon. So, today we had a whole list of things that we needed to do. And different things came up and we didn't get to do all the things that we needed to do today. So we'll have to start early tomorrow and do them, which is fine. It's, it's all about looking at our expectation and either we can get anxiety over the things we haven't done or we can say, you know what? It was a great day. We got other important things done and tomorrow we'll do everything we need to. Like maybe the house won't be spotless when we go out of town. Oh well, maybe I don't know, maybe I won't get all the laundry folded. I don't know, actually I did get all the laundry done today and folded and Johnny just needs to put his away. So it's all about attitude. Attitude with your expectations. Don't let them overwhelm you, overwhelm you. it's not worth it. We love you guys and always remember that you are worth it. Bye guys. Bye.